welcome back to today's video. Today is going to be the last video of 2020 Dumpster Fire. It's been an interesting, crazy year. The good, the bad, and the ugly. And there goes my TV. E. So I'm gonna have to go shut the door. And so let's get on to our questions. So I'm gonna talk a little louder right here because of my TV in the background. Because it's just a few hours till New Year's for me. It is right now 7.22. So let's get on to my questions. My first one was, what was the highlight of 2020 for you? I think this was a really hard one to de this decide because I also showed it on my Instagram. But I said it was buying a Marley because I had a lot of pressure on my chest knowing that she would be heading back on the 3rd of January that is in like three days and I just didn't want her to leave she was just a one-of-a-kind pony and we were very lucky to get a good price that we could afford to keep her and so we purchased her Lindsay at horses for life I I'm just shouting out YouTubes said hello somebody else asked your favorite horse breed and I'll show you these questions favorite so I'll go ahead to favorite horse speed now. Favorite horse speed was really good for me to decide. I was stuck in a warm blood quarter horse and a thoroughbred. I came up with quarter horse, warm blood, and thoroughbred. I just really like the quarter horses. Even though I do jumping, quarter horses can still do English. What do people not think they can do English or jumping? I don't know why they think. I just love quarter horses to death. So the next one is, what is the highest you have jumped? The highest I've jumped is 27. It was a solid cross country fence out cross country schooling. It is my biggest fence, which felt huge at the moment. I can insert it right now. That was the video. So yeah, Ugh. oh, my questions. Somebody else said, hola, hola. A Maddie dot underscore question, she asked for a name, new shout out, is uh, one goal for you in tw in 2021. Sorry, got my tongue twisted there. Ooh, that's a really hard one. I would personally say, ooh, get to a maiden horse trial. Another person asked, do you own Coco? I do not own Coco. Sadly. <laughs> we buy him for the barn owner of our barn. Because they weren't able to sell him. And he's such the sweetest, kindest soul out there. Except for Marley. But Gelt for Gelding. He's so sweet. I love him to death. And he's so kind. I love his blind leads. Why don't you ride Bentley anymore? He's my mom's horse. I have two horses to ride now. I don't film a lot of cocoa with anymore. And I just enjoy riding them too, but I definitely need to hop on Bentley again. Definitely think it needs to be a New Year's resolution get on Bentley a lot more. <laughs> my next one is, can you make merchandise? No. Well, I can't make it. I don't want to make it at the moment because there'd be like one person buying it a month since I only have 57 subscribers. But I would like to in the future. So make sure you subscribe. The more subscribers I have, if you want merchandise, you'll get it. And then this one is, how many horses do you have? I have, <laughs> I can't spit it out. I have two horses and I ride Coco. Then a similar question, <laughs> a similar question was, how many pets do you own? I own two dogs, Tat and Perry. You've seen them probably both on this account. And then I own two cats, Lucky and Tucker. You've probably seen them on my Instagram account. And then I own Marley and Bentley, which you guys all know. And then I also lease Coco, like I've said. So the Q&A is over. That wasn't up very long, but I just had to get this out for New Year's and it's raining outside. So I'm glad fireworks aren't be shooting out. And I just wanted to say a big appreciation to first my mom, to making all of this wonderful stuff, even the, even the bad happen. And a big appreciation to you guys. 
You guys have supported me this whole way through. I've almost reached 60 subscribers in less than eight months. It's crazy. I'm hoping to get to 100 by year. Do you think we can make it? Well, you do your best to try to make it. Now, I wish you guys all an amazing 2021 and hopefully that's much, much better than 2020. And I will see you guys in 2021 for me and Marley's prepping for a one year anniversary. So I will see you then. Goodbye.